All right, boys, welcome back to another Fighter Showcase. Today, I'll be showcasing Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson is not a fighter that I use often in UFC 4. Um, not not for any particular reason. It's just they're I feel like they're they're better characters to use in the lightweight division. The lightweight division is a very competitive division in this game. Um, Dustin Poirier is a very good is a very good pick. I typically go with uh, Dustin Poirier or Justin Gaethje. Um, if I want to strike and you know just if I if I if, if I want to do like a challenging style of striking, of course there's always. Edson Barboza, you know, Conor McGregor is in there. It's just a very competitive weight class. So, El Kukui is not typically someone I pick, but, uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got ourselves a an aggressive, aggressive Michael Chandler. Who, of course, El Kukui is facing. Oh, Okay. Oh, this is good. Oh, my God, dude. I love nothing more than players like this. There we go. We're going to give him the Tony Ferguson experience. We're going to spin the Rooney here and there. Just a fight a bit weird. See if I can plant a, le a head kick on him. And just like that, we've gained his respect. Notice the man came out with a lot of heat in the beginning stages of this round. But the moment we rocked him, we gained a little bit of respect. Imagine that. Look at that. You know, he's realizing that he can't just walk me down and not pay for it. And this is what I try to get you guys to do. You need to make your opponent pretty clear. Oh, you need to make it very clear to your opponent that walking you down, there's huge danger involved. Spin a Rooney, spin a Rooney. Sit him down again. Oh, we are looking for it. He's going with the jab jabs now, which is okay. There's really nothing there. He's just throwing jab jabs to try to overcommit the block. And this is how you deal with it. Just all you gotta do is just slip one of the jabs. You don't you don't have to don't don't panic too much when he's throwing it. Relax. Send him back. Spin. Let me know in the comments what you guys think is going to happen with this fight. Tony Ferguson versus Michael Chandler. Very curious to see what you guys think. Both of these guys have taken quite a bit of damage, man. Both of them took a lot of damage against Justin Gaethje. I want that jump. I want that flying knee. Both of them took quite a bit of damage against Justin Gaethje. I think El Kukui took the, the worst of it, for sure. Um, he lost that fight. Uh, he lost to Benil Darius. He lost to Charles Oliveira. And uh, it's like, like, Tony has been, he really has been out grappled lately, man. I mean, he was TKO'd, of course, by Justin. But then he was out grappled by Charles Oliveira as well as Benil Darius. So... This is definitely something that I'm sure Michael Chandler can look at and go, okay, so, I mean, it's a possibility. It's definitely a possibility. If striking doesn't work, Chandler definitely has that wrestling in his back pocket, even though he, you know, he rarely uses it these days. He's just, he'd rather sit in front of you throwing hands. My opponent is being aggressive again. And of course, we gotta shut it down. We gotta shut it down. Oh, 
Woohoo! Sit him down. And that's it. I know a lot of times when you guys watch my video, it seems like like oh it's just easy mode but honestly man like a big reason why i can i can shut down a lot of players that try to pressure me like there's some that will get me don't make no mistake there's some players out there better players that will get me with pressure but most of them i can shut them down and the big reason for that is i just don't panic a lot of times when i see players being pressured you know you can tell they're panicking they start making dumb mistakes they start bobbleheading which is like the classic dumb response they use and then you just easily just shred them anyways um we're gonna move on let's move on all right fight number two let's get it i'm ready this time we're facing a more dangerous opponent in dustin poirier just relax 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 Another guy that's really trying to put the pressure on me. Careful. <laughs> Careful, it's going to get bad. First thing I will tell you guys, man, is just don't panic, you know. Just just relax. Just take a breath. Try to remember the weapons the game gives you. Use your side steps. Got him. Head kick. You know, use your side steps depend on your block from time to time but then remember to fight back and once you fight back take the center of the octagon and even if you're not confident with pushing forward give them the illusion that you are that way their comfort level goes down trying to ankle pick me To the body. I need to be very careful with that forward moving slip he's doing. He's tried the forward moving slip into an uppercut a few times now. We need to be very careful with that. And I see this man wants to exchange leg kicks. I typically don't like doing that, but I need to. I need to. Uh, I can't let him. Yeah, I can't let him start snowballing leg kicks with me. So we'll see if we can get him to forget about these goddamn leg kicks. And we do that by throwing mine. Uh, okay. Guess he's not. Okay. Mm-hmm. Occasionally, he's blocking low right there. We could probably sneak in a front kick. Let's see. I want to throw it when I have him trapped against the cage. Ah, he got me. He got me. He actually just made this fight more difficult right now by adding these leg kicks. Like, he really just did. And he's ducking to avoid the roundhouse. Got him. There we go. Good. Very glad I was able to get that drop at the end of the round right there. I was kind of worried that he was going to win the round, but boom. That pretty much secures the round for me. Um... That leg kick he's throwing is it's a it's a real threat for sure. We need to be very careful with that. Dustin Poirier has good leg kicks, as demonstrated against the notorious one. And so I need to take that leg kick very seriously if he's throwing. It's just he's doing a good job of like mixing it up. He goes, Oh, trying to take me down, bro. Hey, don't start with the knees, man. Don't start with the knees. Actually, that's okay. That's fine. Send him back. 
Another one. He checked it. <laughs> there you go. Got him. Head kick. To the body, to the head. Dude, look at my left leg. You guys see that? You see it flash right there? I mean, it's definitely not something. Yeah, it's de it's flash. Oh, it's definitely not something that we can just ignore. Like, I can't. Oh, boy. Now both my legs are hurt. Oh, my God. This man just slowly turned this into a very competitive fight right now. Hey, dude, why did, why did that knee hurt my legs? Got him. Ah. Yo. There we go. He's fine. He's fine. We got it. Beautiful. I wonder if that's a momentum transition. I'm not sure about that specifically. Maybe one of you guys in the comment section can let me know if that's a momentum transition. Because that was pretty fast. Let's see if we can try it again. Probably not going to be able to be able to in this fight. But next time, I'll experiment with that. Alright, let's see if he does it again. Here we go. I'm going to try to get up right away. No, that's not a momentum transition. <clears throat> I don't know what happened the last time for for uh, for that get up attempt to be so sped up. I'm thinking maybe, maybe it's because he was low on stamina. So that bumped up the grapple advantage. Perhaps that's what it is. Um, I don't know. Mm -mm. Hey, man, you're not going to catch me with the front kicks, bro. It's just not going to happen. The master of front kicks. <laughs> nice. Oh. This dude has activated my ego 100%. Cuz now now I want to show him I have the better front kicks. I've got the better timing on my front kicks. Nice ankle pick, but we scramble up. He reshoots. Got him. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that, boy. Got him. Leg kick. I'm looking for that front kick. Come on. Time to find a time info. There it is. Fight over. Boom. Face planted that man on the canvas. And that does it. That does it. Beautiful. El Kukui. Tony Ferguson gets the win. All right. To the body, to the head, and fight over. He was sitting there against the cage holding his body trying to bobble head and we just boom. 
blast him to the head and that's it. All right, so that's going to do it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the fighter showcase. If you did, you know what to do. Always helps out the channel. Later tomorrow, we're going to try to... I'm probably, tomorrow is probably going to be uh, Rose Namajunas. We're going to do a fighter showcase on Rose for sure. And we're going to do another one on Carla Esparza as well. So you guys watch out for that. I don't typically use the female fighters, but we're definitely going to run it with them. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one, boys.